What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT Math and today we are continuing with more Khan Academy mini tests, some of the best ways to prepare for the SAT Math portion. And just if you haven't seen it yet, we've got our awesome SAT Math video course down in the description link below if you want to check it out. We've worked really, really hard. We built the questions and made sure they stand up. We got four official practice tests plus a bunch of other material, uh, review sheets for formulas, etc. So you'll have access to all of that. And it's month to month, so it's $30 a month. You can buy it, you can cancel it at any time. By the way, that's the price right now. It will eventually go up as we add. we're gonna continue to add more and more content, more practice tests, more practice questions. But that's the deal right now. And once you buy it, you're gonna be locked into that deal. So you won't have to deal with the price increases as they go up eventually in January and so on and so forth. So anyways, I hope you like it. And I hope you guys are doing your best and having a good time preparing for this SAT because I think you can do great if you put in the work and put in the time and really go for it. All right, we're going to do this mini test here under time settings. Oh, yeah, it's a calculator section. Let me load up the calculator here. And here we go. By the way, I'm taking this for the first time in real time. That's the fun. So we're going to see what goes down here. Start in three, two, one. Let's do it. Oh. I need the thingy, web paint. Boom. During a time test, Alexander types 742, assuming Alexander was, which is the best approximate number he would type in an hour. So first of all, let's do minutes. Uh, actually, this is easier. Let's do a proportion the right. So 742 in 14 minutes, so this is words, this is minutes, equals 60 minutes, X amount. Boom, boom, cross multiply. Let's use the calculator. 60 times 742 equals that, and then we would divide by 14, and we get 3180. Boom, done. Nice rates, ratios, and proportions question. Which of the following quadratic equations has no real soluciones? Oh man, they made them all fractions, this is terrible. Uh, let's see if I can do this mentally somewhat. So again, no real solutions means b squared, means b squared minus 4ac, that is the, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking on it. But it's the part under the quadrant, the square root of the quadratic equation, uh, discriminant, sorry. That means the discriminant is negative, right? So we need a big B squared. I guess this, no, but that's a big C. No, what, what am I talking about? We need a small B squared and everything else here. And, oh, we need this to be negative. So I need A and C to either both be negative or both be positive. So A fits the bill. That's out. Both be positive. Well, darn it, most of them are positive. Okay. Um, this is looking promising. Okay, because this becomes 16 over 81 minus 4, 4, 9, and then C. So because that'd be, oh, what am I doing? B squared. Ah. B squared is 16 over 9. No, this gives me exactly zero. That's out. Okay, this is so terrible because of these numbers. Otherwise, this would be way easier. Um, B squared is 16 minus 4. A. This might be it. 16 minus 4 times A times C. So that's 44. Two-thirds of 44. Two-thirds of 44 is 88 over 3. What is that? Yeah, it's 29.3. So this will give me a negative. Let's just double check because these are so weird, this question. So B squared is 4 minus 4AC. So that is 2. Yeah, this would be 0. Yay. So C is the winner. All right, done. Next. Oh, God. No, I hate these questions. Okay, Louis Pasteur conducted a famous experiment that addressed this question. Can microbes generate something? I've, I've, I've done this one before. Uh, boiled it, then it's in the flask, then he broke it, and blah, blah, blah. After predetermined time, Pasteur observed that there were no microorganisms in the control flask. There were 3,000 microorganisms in the experimental flask. So when he broke it, it got microorganisms, when he didn't, whatever. I did this one, and it was weird, and I can, let me see if I can remember. When closed out to outside elements, purified water, based on the results, which the following conclusions are valid. When closed off to outside elements, purified water will not spontaneously, I guess... Because that's what happened. It had no organ microorganisms. This is ridiculous. He says nothing about being harmful. Microorganisms into the purified water. We don't know this, but probably. 
Mm, so I'm going to put a star. Probably did because the other one had nothing. Not breaking the sentence, prevented microorganisms. Maybe. Okay. So again, I suppose that's, that's what it is. We purify the water and I, okay. So it's either one, three, and four, which is C, or one only. Oh, it's gotta be, it's, I guess it's this because I don't see just one. All right. It's the best I can do. You know, these conclusions, the thing I don't like about this in comparison to, right, like these are so set, you know. How can I, how can I make this conclusion? This is just one experiment, you know, this is, it's just atypical and that's why I didn't like this question. Um, and usually it's much more obvious to dismiss stuff because it's like, how, you know, you can't be this definitive, but we have no other choices. So we're going to have to go with our gut or go with the best option. We'll see at the end. Based on the model, which of the following is a true statement? <clears throat> Mateus calculated his car's average fuel economy in various speeds. Okay. So his speed, so there's his max fuel economy is here about, right? It's like 45 miles per hour and it's about, okay, let's see. Matt gets max at approximately 46 miles per hour. Oh, not miles per hour, gallon, miles per hour. Yes, let me increase it by, no, I don't know what that means. This doesn't make sense. Because is, the maximum is 30 miles per gallon. I think it's just B. Yeah, the other ones don't make sense. Chris began a workout regimen uh, at a local health club. She began her workouts 45 minutes each, but since increased the workouts by five minutes per week. Her total workout time cannot exceed two hours. That is 120 minutes. Chris has workouts for X weeks until she hits two hours, which inequality best models the situation. So it'd be, it'd be, um, it'd be 45 and then every week she's adding five minutes, but the first week, so we can't say just five X cause the first week she's here. So when X equals one, it's just 45. So that accounts for that because now if X equals one, this zeroes out X equals two. Now I'm adding five weeks and then, yeah, so it's gotta be C. And then we're trying to get this to be less than 120 minutes. So C is the winner. Done. After Hero's family photo shoot, the photographer sells the printed photos by each, the sheet. Hero has a $200 credit from a prior session. And the above equation gives a total credit left in dollars if he buys S sheets. Got it. He can buy five. Because that's when the credit zeroes out. See, like, if you plug in zero for S, you get 40 times 5, which is 200. So that's zero sheets. He's got the full credit. If he buys one sheet, it's 5 minus 1, which is 4 times 40, which is 1 to have 160 left. To get down to zero, he can buy five. Because it, it looks like each sheet costs 40 bucks. And I've also seen this problem before, too. This looks fam very familiar. Okay, next. Prachi needs between 240 and 260 total feet of fence panels. The home improvement store has 24, okay, 240 and 260 feet, 24, six and 28, eight. Which of the following combinations should she buy? So these are six, six, six feet, six feet. And these are eight, eight, eight and eight. Um, should I do this mentally? I kid, let's see, that's 36 plus 160 plus 208, 36, 36 plus 208 is two, 244. So A should work. Okay, 48 plus 160, 184, 184 plus basically like 50. No, this is too small. 27 times 6 is 120, 140, 27, 120 plus 42 is 162. Yeah, this is too big because it's beyond two. So let me double check. Six times plus eight times 12. Yeah, it's too big. Wait, it's not too big. What? 96 
No. Hold on. Let me double check the first one. Six times six. This is why you should not do too much mental math. You got to be careful. 240. What? It also fits. Which find how many aces of fence should she buy? I don't get it. How do we have two answers between 240? Um, could she buy? Uh-oh. Hold on. This something is awry here. How much time do we have? Oh, shoot. No. Okay, eight times six equals this plus eight times six was 23 times eight. Okay, that's out. 30 times six is 180 plus 80 is exactly 260. So that's out. So D is out because it says she needs between those. Um, and then that one was what? Six. 162 plus 96. What? I don't know. I've got two two right answers. Do we make... Oh, it's because this one has too many short fence panels. There's only 24. <clears throat> now I get it. Oh my gosh. I'm, that was terrible. All right. Sorry about that. Here we go. Manipulating quadratic exponential. Do, do, do. Okay. Let me see. Lewis posted, after how many days did the total number of people viewing the video double from the original number of people? So the original is 18. We want to know when this is 36. So, so 36. So it'd be like, I'd set here, watch this. I'm going to do like this. 36 equals this. We divide by 18. It's 2 equals, then it's 2, 2 equals 16 to the point zero one two five t And then that's really, um... Oh, wait, I can make that 2 to the 4th to that 4 times 1 times 1 to the 4th. 4 times 0 0.0125 is 0 0.05. So 2 to the 1 equals 2 to the 0 0.05t. That's saying 0 0.05t equals 1 because we have the same base. And then 1 divided by 0 0.1 divided by 1. 20. 20 days. Okay. Boom, next, to four minutes left, oh my God, okay. The national nutrition, 80% of survey for lipoprotein with the margin of error of 80.5% with a margin of error of 1.5. So that means it could be as low as 79, as high as 82, just adding and subtracting the margin of error. And stratified using common disease population, thymine 316, which is 95% of who had healthy lips. Okay, so I take 79% of 316, 79% of 316 is 249, which is about 250. It's probably this one. Or should we just pick it? Let me just do 82.82 times. Just to be safe, 259, boom, done. Okay, last question. Let's see if we can do this. An accountant is modeling the annual tax expenditures E in thousands of dollars two years after January 1st. We're small using two different models. Both accounts have models of tax expenditures of 5,000 on January 1st. Wait. An e, the accountant is modeling annual tax expenditures E thousand dollars t years after january 1st 2000 okay so they have five thousand on two thousand that's my base on i don't want to tax insurance which increased by and then four thousand every year so it'd be like x minus one because that'd be like one no not x minus one just be x sorry x that's linear model two is expenditures which increase by a factor of a every five years a every five years. So it's like increases by a factor of A. So it's like one plus A, whatever that factor is, to every five years. So then it's five. No, then it's X over five, because then five years would be one factor. 10 years would be two. I also have the same value on January 1st to do that. So then if I plug in 10, so that would be 10 times that is 40, 45,000. So we need this to be 45,000 in 10 years. So if I plug in two sets so squared, what is the value of A? And then, okay, so maybe I don't even, maybe I don't even need to say one plus A. Maybe I can just say A. So then it's 10, it's squared. So 5,000, because if I plug in 10, that's squared. A squared equals 45,000 divided by 5,000. 
Oh, no, what am I doing? Not that side cancels. Ah, running out of time. A squared equals, that's 9, and it's 3. So basically what it's saying is it's tripling every 5 years. So I think that's it. Okay, we got two minutes. Let's just roll with it. Let's see what happened. Normally we should check our work, but, you know, we can check. Come on, baby. Yeah, everything is right. Um, that first question, oh, wait, what was that one question that was weird? No, that one's not weird. I don't know. There was something in there that was a little strange. And then we got, we got, oh, yeah. No, 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 but then I figured it out. So we got pressed for time. It is what it is. All right. Excelentes. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining, and I hope you found this valuable, useful, and I hope you uh, do your best on this on this course of SAT prep. Once again, I do want to say we do have our SAT math video course. It is available. It is for sale. It's ready to go. It's month to month, so you can have it for as long or as little as you like during your prep process, especially for this upcoming March SAT. And I will be taking uh, these SATs again next year, so I'm looking forward to that. we got to register and sign up and make sure that's all good to go. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I wish you the best of luck on your SAT math journey, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.